Hey, welcome to my home. I mean... So welcome to my home. Hey, welcome to this bathroom. It's uh, one of my favourites. I love the fact it's got a wet area here. So the bath and the shower is all combined. Love a bath and I love the fact that we've got sort of combination of timber and then sort of the hard surfaces. So it feels to me a bit more like a spa than a bathroom. One of the things we considered was actually resell. This may be a second master bedroom and so we wanted to make sure that it had that wow factor you need for resell. Trends come and go, so you've got to be very careful with trends when you go with house design. It's important that you have an elegance to it and a quality that really is timeless. One thing about Survivor that teaches you is appreciation. I appreciate the fact that I can actually turn a tap on and have a shower, considering I didn't have a shower for nearly 50 days. The elements I love in this bathroom is the simplicity of it. Like everything is quite minimalistic. It's a very male type bathroom, but using a lot of black, but still softening it with some of the timber and look, this beautiful tapware, which is just really minimalistic, which I just love. We've used um, a very individual approach to each bathroom. Every single bathroom I've got in the house really reflects the personality of the person who's going to actually be in it. People often think that you have to actually compromise design for practicality. It's not the case. Genuinely found Reese to be excellent. The salesperson that I used was very knowledgeable and it made it very stressless. Now I had a clear vision and a style I liked, which was contemporary. And then I could just really look at the contemporary items that Reese had in store, which was very easy for me. really consider things like dual showers. I find them one of the most important things in a shower because I think showers are the place where you have your best ideas. When you're briefing an architect or a designer, make sure you have a very clear understanding of the end result. Make sure you understand what feel or emotion you want for every room. And I think that's the difference between a house and a home. Thank you for joining me in my home. I hope my tips have been valuable. Good luck for your own renovation or your own new build.